everyday heroes, extraordinary vision, stories and inspiration from our world to yours. This is Unlocking Secrets for Women Radio. Wow, Susan from Bar Fitness in South Surrey and my very new friend. And I am so grateful to have met you quite by accident mm -hmm. through Instagram and their, you know, local advertising. And um, how are you? I am, I'm doing well. I'm, you know, with, with everything that's, that's happening right now in the world, um, it's uh, really, you know, quite the roller coaster ride, but I'm hanging on and uh, really trying to go forth and um, innovate and keep doing what I do. And, uh, you know, it's, there's great moments and there's challenging moments. The learning curve has been absolutely exponential this yes. last year. I bet it has. Well, let's just briefly talk about how we met. So I was strolling through Instagram and they pop up with these little, you know, um, whatever they're called, the little flashes of your brand. And I went, oh, look at the color of that logo. <laughs> All drawn to it immediately because it's the color of my logo. And I had also been searching out an option for gradually entering into exercise again as you know, don't need to get into my story, but I'm on a surgical wait list. My ankle is a mess, which you have now um, helped me with. And I reached out to you through DM and Instagram and just said, you know, I'm concerned and how could you help? And, you know, can you be sensitive to my injuries? And then the next thing you know, we had a private session booked and you just took me under your wing and you worked me through a uh, routine. You tested me to see my strength, what I could and could not do. And you instilled incredible confidence into me, just one-to-one -one right there in your studio. And that gave me, you know, you, I, I understood and you did that I have to modify for my own injury. And you were so gracious and gave me so much confidence and then we sat on the floor after and had a heart-to-heart -heart girl chat, found out that we share some challenges together, but we also are part of an amazing female um, women entrepreneur community. And I'm so pleased that you've already been able to be introduced to some of the amazing women in my network, which will embrace you and what you're doing. So that's, that's our little story. And you are just the most lovely human with such a beautiful heart that just shows up the second someone meets you. So just thank you for your kindness to me. Oh, Candace, thank you for those words. And, you know, I, I, everything you say, you know, I, uh, uh, agree with just the way, you know, that, that, that special connection in the studio that day, like that, that, is why I do what I do to, to me, you know, to have those connections and to help people. And so thank you for the gift of allowing that. Oh, for me to do that. And your studio is stunning. Mm -hmm. Like it's gorgeous. I mean, it's so high end. And you've done such a beautiful job of making someone when they walk through that door, just drop all the anxiety and just feel instantly welcomed. Did you that, plan that? I love, yes, I love that you said that. And I love that you asked that because I often say that when people come in and they go, ah, oh, wow. Mm. And I'm not in my studio, by, by the way, right now, people watching, this is my home workout studio. So it's not the same thing, but uh, the goal was always, my, my husband's a contractor and he built the space. And my goal was always from the beginning, I want people to walk in and I want them to go, I want them to feel um, at home. I want them to feel like they belong. I want them to feel like they want to stay and that they want to come back. And I, and, and, you know, to, to um, really feel a sense of just letting everything go and leaving everything outside. And it's their space, their time. I share that space with them. And I, I, I love that you felt that because that means that, you know, we, we, brought to fruition what we'd hope to. And, and I, I really want to continue doing that once we reopen our doors. You are far more than a businesswoman. You are a soul reacher. And that is a beautiful skill set. And I noticed that just in spending like a second with you. And you, you have created... 
Look at that. <laughs> oh dear. That's okay. It's very musical. <laughs> I should have through to my iPad for or my. Yeah, we all know what that is. It's totally fine. Um, and and what I love about you is, you know, you you're focusing on fitness, which is your offering, mm -hmm. and we can talk more about what you offer there. And we will have your website up and the beautiful pictures of your studio at the end of this, so people can connect and find you in the South Surrey area and you are part of a franchise of many locations um, mm -hmm. people can find so um, but you have created uh, an invitation to women to connect from the heart before you're even focusing on the fitness yes. and tell me about that and how did you tap into that where is susan coming from in life that she figured that out so wow. quickly yeah so i was a client in the north vancouver the north shore location and you know i i as a client started to feel that over there and i was like wow this is really special you know i moved out to south surrey you know through life circumstances and once i moved I, I was, I said to my husband, uh, my partner at the time, we weren't married yet. I really, uh, I need this in my life. I don't, I, they're in North Vancouver. I'm in South Surrey. Where's my connection? Where's my community now? So then I said, I need to open one out here and do the same for the women and men. We get a few men, but for the women in our community here. So it started off more about like a, you know, I just put it out there and, Long story short, in a couple of years of searching and you know for spaces, we 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 found the space and we um, brought that business to uh, fruition by opening our doors. And you know, when you think you're offering just fitness, when you bring your heart to something, and it was such a passion, you know, when I was a client, and it's and it, I brought the passion to the business. It. It, I think it shines through mm -hmm. because I, A, love the technique. You know, bar is my, you know, my like tried and true way. It's, it's, it is what um, I, I believe in it so wholeheartedly. So when you start from a place like that and then you open your doors and you say, come on in to this amazing, not only amazing workout, but this amazing space, this amazing community, which, you know, we didn't know that yet, but these... <sighs> I don't want to say, you know, like attracts like, but if I'm putting out there all that I love and all that I believe in, then that is going to come back. And the women that have walked through those doors and that continue to stay in the business, you know, in, 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 the, in the studio and work out with us and, and change their lives and get stronger and all, oh, it's, it's a privilege. It is absolutely a privilege to be a part of these lives. How long have you been in business um, here in South Surrey? We'll be four years old in June. Wow, good for you. Four years. And the fitness part, I, you know, admittedly, I was a runner. I am not a bar fitness kind of girl. Mine was get out and run, 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 run. My car accident impeded that. So I had to learn some different ways under the help of my um, therapist that used to come in the house. But working with you, I mean, I laughed at myself. I don't have the dancer's body and I don't have the, you know, a chest out thing. And I don't, you know, I'm not very balanced or coordinated. And you, for not even for one second, made me feel like that was even an issue. You just like, you know what? You accepted my body type, like the way I have to. I don't have any choice. And, you know, you helped uh, me modify when I was sort of tipping over. <laughs> and, but I didn't feel, I really thought that I would feel ashamed or embarrassed that I didn't have the body type to go with a bar fitness regime. Mm -hmm. that's not even on your radar because I walked in there and found oh thank goodness there's other women just like me that I love that that is such such a wonderful gift you've given to not just me but other women already that I've seen I love that you said that because one of our our premises our mottos our hashtags our our you know our foundations is bar for every body 
for everybody. Like, you know, not just a dancer's body, not, a, you know, and, and that's what that is. That is something that we really, we, all of the instructors, all of the, the you know, the bar family, um, we really uh, truly believe and we want others to, to feel that when they're coming in through those doors, it doesn't matter what your fitness level is, mm -hmm. what your age is, what your body type is, this bar that you're coming into is for every body, everyone. It's beautiful. And we modify and exactly. And if you have limitations, if you're nursing um, an injury, if you haven't worked out in, in a few years, come on in. We will make it work for you. Uh -huh. Optimized. And it's a lot of laughter in there too. Mind you, I'm laughing at myself a lot, but it's fun. I've only had two actual workouts in studio um, just for modifying myself, but also circumstances before mm -hmm. all this came about. And then I found that you have ingeniously, you and the bar group have ingeniously come up with a way to allow the community that you have built to continue to meet together in their own homes. Please mm -hmm. tell me about that. I would love to tell you about that, Candice. So we, as a collective, you know, we've got um, locations in North Vancouver, Port Moody, Yale Town, Dunbar and uh, South Surrey. So five locations. And um, we closed last Monday, uh, Tuesday, last early last week, we closed our doors because of COVID-19. And it was the responsible thing to do. Um, we just got on a phone call. Um, I believe it was Wednesday, the group of us, all of the amazing bar bosses of all those locations. And we're like, what are we going to do? And our franchisor, um, uh, co-founder, Ella Joti, co-founder and creator of Bar Fitness, you know, the captain said, we're going, we're going virtual. Beautiful. And we're like, what? We're going, this is what we're doing. We're doing this every, we were on the phone every day on Zoom, <laughs> every day, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I think even Sunday, maybe we took Sunday off. We opened our virtual studio on Monday. Wow. We all held hands. We all went through and we were like, what, how we, um, so we're using our current platform, which is mind body, which is how people were registering for their classes before we've integrated that in through something called FitGrid and zoom. So you register for your class, you get a link, you've got zoom on your computer, you come into class in a virtual studio and you're in your room, you're in your kitchen, in your workout room, in your house, wherever you are. Uh, we're connecting, we're all working out. There's a live instructor that can answer questions and tell jokes and, you know, listen to everybody. People can talk to each other, all the community, the clients that, you know, miss each other so much. That's what happened in one week. What an amazing leader you had that mm -hmm. she kept her, I don't know her, but she obviously has strong values around her business ethics and the and her franchisees and the people that she cares about and created a, a way for you to be successful along with keeping the clients with that attachment to all of you because we need community more than ever. More than ever. An amazing woman. Um, one of my heroes. I truly, you know, um, yeah, she's, she's definitely... Uh, what, a, what an amazing thing. And to know that this technology was here for this moment in time for us to be able to communicate this way. And so I was able to jump on and book a class with who I now call Merciful Maribel. <laughs> I just say that just like, yeah. <laughs> and I enjoyed my fitness class last week here in my living room. It was great. I saw you. It was awesome. It was so much fun. And my husband secretly videotaped me because I am not coordinated in certain things. And it was so funny. And he was completely entertained, but whoever. I felt like I'd had such a good workout. Good. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And then I found out afterwards, so I can't always 
because I'm doing this and I'm doing, you know, other things. I work for the school district as well. And we're right now trying to restructure what that's going to look like. And so I can't always jump on, but I found out through one of your emails that if we've missed a class, if we sign up for a virtual class and we miss it, you send us the link and we can just fit it in in the 24 hours that we have after. Tell me about um, what you're offering like that uh, yeah. with all the classes. Yeah, all the classes. So. And again, technology is not perfect. It's amazing, but wow, like I mentioned earlier, the learning curve has been like something, you know, just unexperienced by me ever before in my life, the learning how to use it. Um, so yes, to answer your question, Candice, if you register for a class through MindBody and you're on the list, you, we record the classes. And then if you're on the class list, you will get a recording. If you attend it or not, you'll get a recording that lasts for 24 hours. So if you're at work or if you're with the kids or you just can't make it at 12 o'clock or 9.30 or whichever time we've got scheduled that day, you'll get a link that lasts for 24 hours. You can play the link and you can do your workout at your convenience. That's amazing. We'll see, and you know, see the instructor and it's not live, so you won't see the other participants, but you can still hear the instructor's voice and get your workout in which is amazing and and that that i was so excited so that's actually what i'm doing today i booked my five o'clock with you yes but we've got a cocktail party tonight via zoom oh, fun. <laughs> i know so i'm gonna save my workout for tomorrow so i'm so excited and then you know i'm really really excited about that but the other thing that i really noticed for myself that i experienced is in the live zoom class I I've done uh, fitness you know in the past with just you know a YouTube video what a difference it makes having people live right there yeah I didn't think it would make a difference but it really does you don't want to cheat because you just don't want to cheat <laughs> and um, and you also feel like you're still part of community and your instructors yourself and the other members make you just feel like you're part of everybody Yes. And you are. And that's exactly what that is the goal. And, you know, I can see you guys. And again, you can block out your camera if you don't want to be seen. I know people are working out in pajamas. That's great. They don't do their makeup or whatever. It's great. Um, come as you are. But if, you know, if I, I look over at my computer and I can see people, I'm like, yes, they're moving with me. It's, it's, and then that's how they're feeling. We're moving together. Yeah. And it's lovely. It's such a needed thing in this time where I think, you know, many of us are, are, staying at home and, and, you know, socially, you know, um, distancing and isolating, quarantining if we have to. So let's all connect in the best way we can in this, in this moment in time. Now you are a mom and you have children at home. Yes. And you're a businesswoman. Yes. And your kitties are not in school. No. So real speaking, real life, how is your life looking and how do you manage? What are you doing to manage running your business, being a wife, a mom, and your home? Yeah, it's not, it has been a juggle. Um, you can see on the door right there in the back, there's a white sign. And that's, I think you may have seen it on Instagram. Yeah. It says, do, please do, I don't think it says please, do not disturb mom is filming. So they know that, you know, that when the door is closed and the sign's up, mom's filming a class or you know don't disturb her they're amazing they're 10 10 and 13 so they're you know older but it's still it's it's working it's filming the class it's connecting with my clients and then it's saying okay close down the virtual studio hey guys let's go for a walk let's go in the backyard let's jump on the trampoline let's play a board game Oh, and it's been challenging, especially this week leading up where, where it was, I think, almost like 18 hours a day where I'm like, I'm sorry, I need to do this. I'm setting up the studio. I love you guys. And they've been so understanding. Wow. It's been a challenge. Yes, I bet it has. And meal prep and bedtime and yeah. gosh, oh, that's a lot of stuff. Bedtime's a bit later. Uh, meal prep, my, my husband's awesome. And again, that's not a time to shut down and just, you know, get the, connect with the family around meal prep and dinner. So trying to balance business and, you know, motherhood right now. Challenging. Yeah, I bet it is for a lot of women. Yes. And your learning curve has probably, it's like learning a whole new language. The, the way I've said it to people and the way I have felt all week is I'm learning how to walk. 
Oh, like, like, it's like learning how, like just, you know, in terms of setting up everything and how is it going to work and then getting back to clients and making sure that everyone is understanding the technology when I'm just learning it. So I feel like it's like a real, you know, quick, um, session in learning how to walk. And there's been a few falls and getting back up again. So, you know, it's, it's a new, yeah. Learning a whole set of skills, yeah. which I'm finding, and I'm saying it now because you've caught me in a positive, powerful moment, but I'm like, I'm, I'm getting stronger from this. And then I've got my moments where I'm like, I just can't do this. And then I'm like, I can, I'm strong. And I think a lot of us are going through that roller coaster. I mentioned like there's ups and downs and just keep going one foot at a time. But that is true of real life for everybody. Mm -hmm. And whether we're dealing with a pandemic crisis or we're just in our everyday selves because life is up and down and it's not predictable mm -hmm. and you've had an interesting background and you shared a little bit um, about that with me and I think it's important for people to know the human being that we are that you know women might look at women like yourself and go oh she's just she's got all the pieces she's so successful and everything's been so great for her but that's not the truth of our stories you want to share a little bit about yourself susan in your your life yeah i um i i won't go into too much detail but i'll give you a snapshot view um i was on the path uh, to a medical school. I was uh, in, in, uh, at UBC in um, sciences and medical science, graduated. Um, my mother passed away as I was completing my last year and my dissertation in, in medical science. So I did a, um, a thesis and she passed away right at that time. And I was um, scheduled to write the MCAT and applying for medical school. And then I shifted my perspective kind of as her, as she was ill, um, to uh, embrace naturopathy, naturopathic medicine. So I went to Seattle and did my, uh, started on um, to become a naturopathic physician. I did two years of that and then I took time off. Uh, I got married to my first husband in that time and I ended up not going back. I took a hiatus in which time I, um, started a jewelry design business and I started I acting. <laughs> yeah, I, I went, you know, from acad acad academics all the way over to artistry. So I was, I, I acted in the, BC, you know, in the film industry here in BC in Vancouver and loved that, enjoyed that and um, did my jewelry. I had uh, my first child during that time. And then um, after shortly after that, uh, kind of put acting on the back burner. You're just busy with kids. And, and my second came along. Jewelry was kind of my business, took it bigger, went online with it, and then um, became a, a client at the North Shore Bar Fitness Studio. Went through a divorce, moved out to South Surrey, and then that's where I um, really decided that I wanted to bring this so I feel like I've been, you know, my roadmap has been a very winding road, but every point, every stop along the way has taught me something that has enabled that next, you know, uh, stop to be that much more um, amazing. And, and uh, yeah, I, who would have thought though, but everything, you know, all the, the info on, on, you know, in medicine and on, in, in nutrition and, you know, as an actor, like it's all, you know, I'm acting, Hey, I'm in front of the camera right now. Who thought that that would have ever helped me do what I'm doing in my business today. So it's all an interweaving, you know, a mesh of, of many different things that have come together to make me who I am today and, and to enable me to do what I do today. And, and it's interesting if we just trust life's processes, they will bring us to yeah. that place where things can come together. Mm -hmm. And just in closing, Susan, um, I've asked everybody this question and it's amazing to me how many different ways of coping and managing in the realness of your life and the challenges that you've been faced, not only in the past, but currently in your business and now being a super busy mom and being a friend and a wife. And how do you comfort yourself and hold yourself up during moments of 
maybe fear and doubt and insecurity and worry? What is it that you do for you to help pull you along and help you pull yourself up um, that you can share with other women that are needing that little bit of encouragement right now? Oh, that's such a great question and a great topic and a really important piece. Um, and it's, and it's, in this time, especially, um, it's been very challenging to find that, but I have noticed the, the, the importance of finding that. For me, you know, my, you know, if you call it self-love, self-care, what have you, for me, it's um, just, I like to go for walks. You know, I'll, I'll go out alone. Um, I love to go to the beach, but a secluded part, you know, away from everybody, especially now, where I can walk with the dog and just really be with my thoughts and really connect to nature and to something bigger than myself. Mm -hmm. Meditation for me brings me to that place where I can, you know, again, let go of the, the mind is busy, you know, especially for me, so busy um, to really find a grounding place. Um, for me, it's also doing my, my workouts, you know, to, to keep physically fit to get those endorphins, you know, in the body and the body moving. Um, I love to read. I love to draw a bath with my bath salts. And I love to grab my book and read a book. Um, I say again to the kids, mommy's just going to have some mommy time. Uh, I'll make myself a matcha latte. And I'll just have that moment where my phone's off, my computer's off, just, you know, do not disturb time for me. And that's been wonderful. That's, that's kind of like my um, isolating, you know, fulfilling time where I, where I just come back to, to myself. And that is very important that each person really stays present. The big message is being, being present in the moment and being present with yourself, helping yourself get through those challenging times. And then, Susan, I'm excited about the future and our connection in the future and where that's leading and um, things have taken a little bit of a different pathway at the moment but I know that some of my colleagues um, have reached out to you and I'd like to include you in some of their larger scale events and introduce your beautiful skill set to some of the work that they're doing so I'm really excited about that getting together with you and some of our colleagues and seeing how we can best utilize the skill set that you bring to the table and your beautiful facilities when the time is right to be able to open those doors again and offering and I think the thing that I really love about you and have found about you correct me if I'm wrong but I see that you really want to inspire women to be the best version of who they are from the inside out. And I'm talking not just physically, but spiritually, emotionally, dealing with that deep stuff the inside that sometimes causes us to stumble and, you know, not let us move forward sometimes in our heart because we hold things we shouldn't. Is that true? Susan, because I've seen it in you. You, I love, I'm like, wow, you see that? Because that is my, my um, mission, if you will, you know, our, our, it is, it's absolutely, you know, our mission is to in, inspire people to live happier, healthier lives, one plea at a time. You know, it's a beautiful tagline, but deeper than that, even exactly what you said is that, you know, um, to, to inspire people to, to really connect with themselves, to find that power within, to transform their lives physically you know, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and all of that, it's all part of the, the, the parcel. It's all part of the, the beautiful package. So the fact that you just said that makes me, make, do you really see that? Because that is big, big yes, what I'm here to do and what, I'm, what my goal is and what I, my mission is and what I'm trying to achieve in, in this life. Well, I just want you to know that it pours out of your pores. It really does. It really does. And I'm not a flatterer. I don't flatter people. Um, I only say what I see and, and I see that in you. And I'm so excited about your future as we get through all of this. I know that you are an amazing businesswoman and a beautiful heart and soul. And I'm deeply honored that I can call you friend and we can move forward with however life has designed it to be. And I want to thank you for your time. All the information about how to connect with Susan and the Bar Fitness South Surrey studio will be at the end of this video. So they'll be able to connect and reach out. 
Um, do you believe that this virtual offering is going to be a part of the studio in the future as well as present? Do you believe that the physical space and that virtual offering may at some point marry together or is it just for a time? It, it's a really great question and it's something that we haven't gone into as a, as a you know, a, a, a um, collective yet and to discuss, but what I'm seeing, what I'm loving about it is I'm seeing people who aren't in our community that are joining us from around the world, you know, around the country, maybe different parts of the Lower Mainland or British Columbia. So it's like, oh, that'd be really cool to have the physical space and somehow integrate uh, to bring them into that virtually. So again, reaching more people is always a great thing because we can inspire more people to lead these, you know, healthier, happier lives um, through virtual you know, technology through, through these types of, of uh, you know, virtual settings as well as the physical space. So that would be something that I definitely would go, hmm, how can we do that? Well, you never know. This certainly um, has created pathways for ingenuity and creativity that people have never tapped into before. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for your time today. I will meet you on the virtual bar for about five minutes at my five o'clock today, just long enough to say hi and then check out. <laughs> We're going to have our first virtual cocktail party, so that should be fun. <laughs> nice. Can't wait to hear about that. Yeah. <laughs> we won't be recording that. No, no. Better leave that unrecorded. That's right. Those are just, yeah. We're probably going to play some form of charades. I have no idea, but thank you for your time. Thank you for the beautiful soul that you are. Thank you for what you are contributing to the lives of so many that you don't even realize. Oh, thank you, Candice. It's my, my honor, my pleasure. See you at the bar. See you at the bar. <laughs>